Greetings, fine people of the internet. Welcome to Eric Mealtime. Today we are doing kushiyaki, which is basically food on a stick. Lots of different varieties of food. Let's go check it out. Okay, we are starting out with the table charge here, otoshi it's called. So some mixed vegetables. And this here is a bunch of different types of miso from Nagano Prefecture. In fact, most of the things at this restaurant come from Nagano Prefecture. So we're starting out with some hot sake here. Let's do a cheers first and then we'll get on to the salad. Cheers. To you, team get some. It's a good one. A little bit of fruitiness, smooth. Soothing, very soothing. All right, let's get into this. We've got the cabbage here. Try each of these miso. This almost looks like ground beef here, doesn't it? Mmm. It is ground beef and miso. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's try this one. A little lighter colored. Oh, wow, and a butterscotch-like. That's interesting, Got sweetness, sweet and smoky. How about this dark one? Mmm, mm-hmm. The miso's got a very interesting type of flavor to it. There, there is a sweetness to it which is nice. Mmm. Goes well with the peppers. Yeah, they're all a little bit different. Kind of difficult to describe. I think I like this one the best. It's got, it's weird, it's got like a butterscotch flavor. You can put that on ice cream. All right, it's tasty. We've got the Japanese peanuts, otherwise known as edamame, and they're really not peanuts, they're beans. So if you're not familiar, that's what they look like, the beans. Oh, careful. Sometimes they shoot out. Let's do this. I'm gonna eat them a different way today so you can see them. Typically, you just put them in your mouth and bite them out. But today, we're gonna put them in the bowl first and work on our chopstick skills. Okay, so these are served hot today. Now that it is officially winter time, hot is better. And then typically, you get them cold in the warmer months. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Boiled soybeans. You know what? It's better to eat them like this because then you get the saltiness of the skin, the salt that it's boiled in. Now, these aren't salted at all, they're just very lightly. Yeah, they're more fun to eat like this. You just chew the beans out of the skin. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. This is wasabi octopus, is that right? Wasabi flavored octopus? Okay. Oh yeah. Oh. Ho, ho. It's very raw. Tasty. Hi, arigatou gozaimasu. Alright, thank you. Question is, what did the octopus in the bowl say to the octopus in the dish? He said, what's up, eh? What's up? This is one of my favorite dishes. If you ever get a chance to try wasabi octopus, definitely give it a shot. Yeah, it's not too spicy, it's just about right. Okay, the dishes are coming quick here. Got some salad items. It's like marinated tomato here. Mmm. Oh, that is flavorful. More like a slushy or like a really super ripe tomato. But it's not spoiled, it's nice. Nice and chilled. And here we've got the cucumber with the, looks like the ground beef. Oh, you can just dip them in like this. It's not chopsticks. I thought they were single pieces or separated pieces. Okay, the ground beef miso. Mm. They're pretty meaty. And here, can you guess what these are? These are lotus root chips. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Super crunchy. Well, it's super tasty too. Wow. Better than potato chips. Mmm. Next up, we've got some river salmon from Nagano Prefecture. Let's show you prepared here. Going in, gotta show it going into the mouth, don't we? It's different from typical salmon. It's kind of like more muscle or something. Okay. Finally, we've got some of the kushi action here. This is Oden type of Kushiyaki. So Odan means oh different types of fish cakes and things. Oh, there's even chicken in here. There's a chicken wing. Not on a stick. Oh, it is on a stick. Look at that. I don't think I've ever seen a chicken wing on a stick like this. These look like quail eggs. Mm -hmm. Creamy. Those are beautiful. Let me show you the inside of one of these. Like a scrambled egg in there. Look at that, gorgeous. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tasty. And the fish ball. Just eat right off the stick here. Whoa, flavorful. That's delicious. Yeah, fish ball, fish cake. I like that. And this, I believe, is the konyaku, also known as the devil's tongue, or are these mushrooms. Konyaku. Type of potato, like a jelly potato. Mmm. These by themselves are almost flavorless, but because they're in this sauce, it adds, what, kind of a saltiness to it. This is gonna be messy. Mmm. Oh, that is flavorful. Mmm. Really tender chicken. Wow. I don't think I've ever had Oden chicken before. Yeah. 
Oden. It's got a, a potent smell to it. How, how can I describe it? You'll know if you come to Japan when you smell Oden. All right, we got some more of the Oden style here. This is the long onions, it looks like, with some scallions on top. Should we hit this with some of the hot mustard? Why not? Why not? Oh, it doesn't need the hot mustard. <laughs> the onion's got plenty of spice as is. This is the potato salad. Very fancy. Looks like it's alive. Gonna pick off the whiskers here. And I believe there is bacon in here. Not exactly sure, but we'll let you know. Pretty much wherever you go, potato salad is going to be different. This is definitely upper end potato salad. I'm tasting the meat. It's got chunks of ham in it. Mm -hmm. It's just got the right amount of pickleness to it, right, with the mayonnaise. And what do we have here? Oh, look at this egg dish. This is called tamagoyaki, which is a rolled scrambled egg. So it's layered here. That's how it's cooked by layers and then rolled together. And then it's served with the daikon radish and some mayo. How about that, pretty simple. Mm. What a nice way to eat egg. It's very simple. I'm gonna have to show you guys sometime how this is cooked. Oh, that's good. Sometimes people do it like this with a bit of shoyu. Or a lot of shoyu. Huh. There's also this Nagano spice here, it's called shijimi, which is a, uh, it's a mixture of seven different spices that you can see inside there. Bunch of different spices. Seven to be precise, that's what shichi means. We'll do it like that. No mayo this time for you people that don't like mayonnaise. Mm. I like the mayonnaise better. It's so creamy, so creamy. Oh, this next dish smells really amazing. Check it out. It's deep, deep, deep fried chicken. Look at the thickness of that skin there. Beautiful looking. And it comes with mayonnaise. Oh yeah, no problem with that. Okay, here goes. Get the crispiness. <laughs> it's hot, it's delicious, it's crispy, it's juicy. Oh, this is fabulous. Okay, finally we've got some more items on sticks here. This is the yakitori plate. So we'll start with this one. This is asparagus wrapped in pork. Looks pretty nice. The double stick. Mm. Oh, it is tasty. Those go together really well. The crunch of the asparagus and the softness of the pork. The pork's nice and juicy. Yeah. You miss right here. We've got some barbecued shishito. These are my favorite of the green peppers. I think of all the peppers, these are my favorite. Mm. Just a little bit of spice, but it's a very distinctive flavor, which is nice. Mm. This one here is the kawa or skin. 
looking good. Buttery. Oh, it's good. Really soft, a little bit crispy. Very nice. And this is called nankotsu or chicken cartilage. Chicken and then the cartilage is in between, so it's kind of mixed. Giving it a crunchiness. It's a little bit weird. Takes a bit to get used to it, but I like it. It's not too hard, but definitely some crunch, the cartilage. This is Momo or the uh, dark meat chicken thigh. Momo, this is pretty much the standard in Japan. This could use some spice. Let's hit that. Hit that with some seven spice. Mm hmm. Well, there we go. Mm -hmm. Better. Mm hmm. And this is chicken breast with mentaiko. Fish roll on top and some seaweed. So the mentaiko is spicy. Salty fish eggs. Mm -hmm. It's good. Oh, here's an interesting one. We've got bacon and tomato here, and we've got butter and potatoes here. Interesting. Yeah. All right. Bacon. It's like ham steak to me. They're calling it bacon. We'll see. We'll do a tomato and a bacon in one bite. It's a ham steak. It's good though. The sweetness of the tomato goes pretty well with it. Very sweet tomato. This I've never seen before. Potato on a stick with butter. It's a rarity. Definitely a rarity. Let's eat it off the stick. Mmm. Oh my. It's got a sweetness to it. Almost tastes like a deep fried donut. That is really good. Yeah, they're cooking it. It's in some kind of a sweet oil. All right, it is time for the steak here. Three different types. We start out with the tongue. This is beef tongue right here. Yeah, let's get some of that. Gonna hit this with some spice. So how is beef tongue? It's definitely on the chewy side, but it's doable. It's not too bad. Does it come off the stick though? <laughs> Got a nice flavor to it, for sure. Yeah. And this one in the middle is called harami, or skirt steak. I don't know if that's a good translation or not. <laughs> that's what it said. <laughs> Let's check it out. Mmm. Oh, tasty. Very flavorful and soft. And this is sirloin right here. Bizarre color for sirloin. I like that one the least. I think I like the tongue the best. Okay, moving on here. This is the hoke fish. It's a type of mackerel. This is one of my favorite fish in Japan, cooked fish for sure. And we're gonna have a little bit of shoyu with this, I think. That. I'm going to show you. Mm. Some daikon radish. Oh, yeah. We've got a mixed mushroom dish here. 
bunch of different types of mushrooms. And it's got a really strong, pungent odor, if you will. <laughs> Aroma, I should say, not odor. <laughs> but that's the way mushrooms are. Oh, goodness. How many different types? Oh, very earthy. Mm-hmm. Bunch of different kinds. Oh, goodness. Yeah, they're just, just boiled there. Not a whole lot of flavor. I'm not a huge mushroom eater, but in Japan, there's so many different types. You gotta get into them. Okay, and what do we have here? Some buckwheat soba noodles. Two types of sauce, that's interesting. This is the standard sauce here. And this is a walnut sauce, which I've never seen before. Let's do it in the walnut sauce. It's a thick sauce. Oh, really thick. Oh my. That's some really thick sauce. Mm. Too heavy. I like just the standard, I think. There's a lot of noodles. Okay, try some of the onions. A little bit of wasabi in here. Sure. Traditional style. That is a mouthful. So pardon me for not telling you what type of soba is. This is zaru soba or cold soba noodles, which are very refreshing. So I feel like most of the food that I ate here today wasn't even on a stick, but looking at the count here, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 sticks. I guess that was a pretty fair amount. But how much food can you fit on a stick by volume? Not that much, right? So, yeah. So this here is the apple crepe. Is that right? Let me make sure I get it right. Yeah, the apple crepe with sparkler. It's, and it's not even my birthday. Gotta love a sparkler though, a real live sparkler on your food. Gotta spark it up. Yeah. And served with a lot of cream and looks like some berries on top of it. Lovely presentation. We got some black coffee here. All right. Let's get into it. What is inside the crepe? Oh, I see, there's ice cream inside the crepe. So this is the apple. You get just one little slice. Interesting, huh? Ice cream comes inside the crepe. All right, do that. Get some cream on there and there's caramel sauce. This is fancy. I would order this if it was my birthday. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's a big bite. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. -ho. Let's get some apple and a berry. Oh. -ho. Oh, that berry is popping. Wow, lots of flavor there. It's in a heavy syrup. Beautiful. 
All right, we'll try the coffee. Cream and sugar, you guys? Yeah? Not for me, just black. Oh, no. Where's the coffee? Oh, it's rich. Okay, so there it was, everybody. Did you guys enjoy the meal? I certainly did. Lots of different varieties of food today. And that's what I like about going to these style of Japanese restaurants. You can order so many different little dishes. It's just great to try so many different kinds of food. So on my rating scale today, I think I'm gonna go, where are we gonna go? Five out of six. It's pretty close to a six. I just didn't like the mushrooms. The mushrooms, I'm disappointed in myself for not liking the mushrooms. Yeah, but I will grow up and learn to enjoy them at some point. Everything else was pretty amazing. So give the video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. And as always, I look forward to reading your comments. We'll see you next time.